The EMW 711 X-Ray is sometimes referred to as an infantryman or even sometimes referred to as an infantryman candidate. And I don't know if I'd really consider it an MOS, more of a temporary MOS. But before we dive into that, make sure you are subscribed to this channel, even enable notifications so you can join that notification platoon. Get alerts as soon as new videos go live to include the live stream. So let's talk a little bit about the 11 X-Ray. So like I said, the 11 X-ray is really a temporary designation for an infantryman candidate, someone who is going to be going to OSIT, which I will talk about here in a little bit, to either become an 11 Bravo or an 11 Charlie. So 11 Bravo being an infantryman and 11 Charlie being a mortarman. Now it is not always the case, but commonly an individual who wants to be an 11 Bravo or an 11 Charlie usually gets this MOS designation. It's a temporary designation until at a certain point in OSIT, they are either categorized as an 11 Bravo or an 11 Charlie, but not always the case. There are some cases where someone is guaranteed an 11 Bravo slot or 11 Charlie slot, but the majority of individuals that I usually see that come into the army to get this MOS start off as an 11 X-ray and then later are designated as an 11 Bravo or an 11 Charlie. So I won't necessarily be going into the job duties of an 11 X-ray because like I said, you won't stay an 11 X-ray. You're either gonna become an 11 Bravo or an 11 Charlie. So if after this video, you wanna check out a little bit more details on 11 Bravo and 11 Charlie, I'm gonna leave a link down in the description to the MOS Monday that I've already covered on those two MOSs. Now, however, this MOS is not available to everyone. It is only gonna be available to active duty and National Guard. If you want to go reserves, this is not available to you. That also goes without saying an 11 Bravo and 11 Charlie is not available in the reserves either. Now to qualify for this slot as an 11 X-ray, you're gonna to have to have a high school diploma or a GED, as well as take the ASVAB and get a qualifying AFQT score to qualify you for the United States Army. Now the specific area of the ASVAB that they're gonna be looking at as well is gonna come from the combat section where you will need to at least score an 87 to qualify for the MOS. Now as far as the trainings for individuals that are going in as an 11 X-ray, that involves going to OSIT or one station unit training. Now the length of OSIT kind of really depends on when you're going to OSIT. Currently there are a lot of battalions for OSIT at Fort Benning, Georgia, which is where you do OSIT for the 11 X-ray, is still doing the 14 week kind of initial run of it. But that is going to be changing as they're gonna be moved to a 22 week OSIT for the individuals going through OSIT at Fort Benning for the 11 Bravo or 11 X-ray or the 11 Charlie for this example. The idea is to have it be uniformity for all the 11 Bravo and 11 Charlie, 11 X-Ray individuals to be doing 22 weeks by October of 2020, but there are some battalions or some companies that have already moved to this 22 week one as a trial thing to kind of get a good evaluation of it, to see what things they need to modify before they kind of set it in stone for everybody in this MOS to have to go to the 22 week OSIT. So if you're an individual that's looking into this MOS to possibly go in, whether or not you're gonna do the 14-week one or the 22-week one, just kind of depends, especially depending on when you're watching this and when you're gonna to go to OSIT. So if you're gonna be going to OSIT for an 11 X-ray after October of 2020, then most likely you're probably gonna be doing the 22-week one. But prior to that, it kind of just depends. Now, as far as what you'll be doing in the United States Army, then you really need to watch my 11 Bravo and 11 Charlie video that like I said, I linked down in the description down below, but this is, like I said, just a temporary MOS designator that you're gonna be you know, re-designated as 11 Bravo or 11 Charlie so at some point during OSIT. The majority of individuals become 11 Bravos and then another smaller percentage of individuals get designated as 11 Charlies. How they select who becomes 11 Bravos, 11 Charlies, I'm not really sure, but I do know that the larger percentage become 11 Bravos. Now, for my viewers out there that are maybe currently in the Army, or maybe some veterans out there, when you went through OSIT, if you went through as an 11 X-ray, I'd love to hear your thoughts down in the comments. How did they seem to decide who was going to be 11 Bravo, who's gonna be 11 Charlie, at what phase or what, how many weeks into OSIT did they decide that you know these individuals are going to this MOS and these are going to this one? So I'd love to hear your guys' input from individuals that were actually in this situation that got into the Army as an 11 X-ray and then later become one of those other two combat arms MOSs. All right, so if you enjoyed that video, slap a thumbs up on it. If you wanna check out maybe a playlist to some other MOS Monday episodes for some other MOSs that I covered, check that out, as well as a recommendation for another video if you wanna check that out. I got links down in the description for all sorts of social media and other things. Thank you so much for watching. I'm Christopher Chaos. I'll see you next time. See ya.